He kicks the drugs, gets back in shape, really enjoying wrestling again. I think he joins TNA. Was it 2004 or 2005? I know he was in uh, 2005 at the end. But, you know, having a really good time. Uh, AJ Styles he was facing, sort of, uh, something like that. Then he gets in the ring. Was it a tag match? And Sonny Siaki is on the other side. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So the injury. Uh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll ask this probably straight out. Do you harbor any ill will to Sonny Siaki? Because obviously it was an accident. But Not at all. Us. Not at all, man. And he was he was at the funeral and he felt so bad. And like me and my little sisters, both both my sisters and I were both hugging him. We're like, dude, it was an accident. Don't worry about it. Because, you know, you could tell he was kind of beating himself up over it. We're like, dude, shit like this happens. Like, don't worry about it. And it was just, it was so, it was so crazy because it was a freak accident. And then after it happened, he was in the hospital and I talked to him in the hospital and he's like, dude, I'm fine. And as, as you saw, he was on TV again. He, well, he filmed TV that whole week after he got the surgery was fine. Then uh, even when he came back home, his spirits were fine. And I'm like, our last conversation was like, uh, I'm like, yo, what are you doing? He's like, oh, I'm just chilling. Probably going to take a nap. You can come over if you want. I'm like, oh, I'll just get some sleep. And then I'll, uh, you know, I'll hit you up later. And then I was, I think I was at the beach or something. And then somebody called me and we're like, Cook's in the hospital. And I remember driving up and I see my mom coming back, walking on the boardwalk. And I'm like, mom, Cook's in the hospital. And so I ran up there first. And uh, I remember I got, I got into the room and he was like, I guess like just dead. And I was like trying to wake him up because I had woken him up from the seizures and shit. And yeah. And then after he was dead, it was, it was, it was tough, man, obviously. Hmm. And then I, like I walked around and then I was, there was a little church. I went and said a couple of prayers and I sat in my car and I remember seeing my mom and my sisters pull up to the, to the emergency room and run in there. And then I saw him all come running out, screaming and crying. And I'm like, Oh Jesus Christ. And then I got out of the car and went and saw him. It was, it was so fucking tough. And then the right after that, it was like a blur, you know, because then like the whole like wrestling world, like converged on spring Lake, which was, it was beautiful to see like everybody out showing respect for my brother and you know, every, everything he did. And uh, you know, it was, it was definitely a, a, a good send off but yeah that whole time w was tough because it's like he was fine he was fine next thing you know he's gone you know Do so you, uh I, I will bring this up actually because i don't think people really realized for like a decade because everyone thought the cause of his death was a blood clot but it wasn't uh according to an interview well, you gave a few years ago yeah so it, it was almost like it's almost like people thought like tammy said one thing and i said the other the autopsy said acute pneumonia that's what it was maybe could he have gotten a blood clot and that caused whatever to happen there's a couple other things that transpired uh but like so to, to break it down when he got back home tammy said like you need some sleep here take some he wasn't supposed to take anything she gave him some something to fall asleep and that made his breathing slow down and she called an ambulance way too fucking late pretty much mm. and uh so when the autopsy got done, it was acute pneumonia. It, 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 could there have been a blood clot? I, I suppose. But I'm just going off what the autopsy says. I'm not saying that there wasn't, but I'm, I just know what it said in black and white, you know? Mm. Uh, uh, how did TNA uh, support you afterwards or support the family or did they support you? I mean, they were cool. Uh, like, I, I went out there to do that for his, for his tag, you know, thing. It, they, did a, they did like a tag tournament for him. And I did a run in and then, uh, you know, they did like a, like, like a memorial show for him. And the, you know, they put up clips and stuff. I mean, what, what can you really do? You know, mm. like, well, I, I believe, uh, I believe, uh, well, Tammy said that, uh, they sent her a ham. Yeah. Well, the, the thing is, you know, to be quite honest, my, my and Chris's family, we don't, we're comfortable financially and, I guess, you know, she's not. So she would be like, oh, she would like ask people for money. And we're obviously, my family are, aren't huge fans of hers. So like, you know, you know, my, we just went down to the, to the funeral home and just, you know, cut a check for everything. And then she would go to shows and be like, oh, we need money for the family. And people would ask me, I'm like, dude, we don't need money. Like, don't let her play that card because yeah. we're fine. So, you know, if she, maybe she, I'm sure she needed money for whatever the fuck, bills or whatever. But, you know, 
So uh, yes, around that time, like when when she when he passed, I still like I was still wrestling. I like went that weekend and kept working. I felt like that's what my brother would have wanted, and like I felt like this allegiance to like make sure to like babysit Tammy and like make sure she doesn't get arrested, and then we had like she like had a freak out in like 2007 and I'm just like, what am I still doing here? Like, I don't have to, my brother's not here. Fuck this. And I just like, I literally left the building and that was it. Hmm. Uh, you actually brought it up just briefly, but uh, TNA unbreakable. Do you, uh, I don't know if it was storyline or if it was real, but apparently Sean Waltman no showed. And then you end up taking his place on the pay-per-view. Was that actually he no showed or they just threw him under the yeah, bus? Yeah, no, no, he, he no showed. And this, this is such a no, no, but I was so fucked up at the time. Uh, on my own shit but i had like two identical bags and they're like you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna work tonight i'm like all right and i had i had two fucking blue bags and one had clothes and one had my gear and i didn't even look and i grabbed one and it was fucking clothes and i i got there and they're like they're like all right well you'll you'll just do a run in and you know, I, I, it could have been so much fucking better, you know. And Shane was just like, "Dude, you should have done the, the the fucking diving headbutt. You should have done this. You should have done that." But yeah, I, I mean, in hindsight, I, I, I was, I was really fucked up at that time. And that whole period is still like a blur, you know, because, you know, as as you'll see, like, my brother was my fucking best friend. So losing him was just like, you know, it mm-hmm. like it did it, it fucking crush me. So, uh, I suppose- but yeah, that's that. That was the deal. I suppose this question doesn't really particularly matter, but was there any thought given to you winning the tag titles in in honor? Uh, not that I know of. You know, I I don't know. Um, like like I said, after my brother passed, I was I was wrestling, but like again, I was getting like pressure from my family to not. So kind of had like one foot in, one foot out. Like when I was there, I was all about it. But then when I, because it's like. I took a lot of comfort in seeing all the guys that, that I was friends with and everything. But then also going back to the locker room and like not seeing my brother was like such a bummer, you know? So mixed emotions. Like I, I, I think anybody who wrestles and then stops is going to miss it. Like I, I've stopped and then I came back to do like a memorial show and a couple other things. Then I stopped then I came back. It's like kind of like a, it's, it's tough because you don't get that feeling anywhere else, but it's like at the same time, I'm like, you know, looking for somebody who's not there really you know i'm like almost like expecting to like walk to their locker room and see him you know 